from my mother slash my purchases. Yeah. This is Mac Sephora and kind of random. The first thing is I got a new Mac Pro card because mine expired or it was about to expire. So this is good for another year. <clears throat> Mac Pro card renewal is $35. So that's what I got for that. <clears throat> and then I got another L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara and I actually have another one. It's Hydrofuge and this one's just regular. I really love this mascara. It's my favorite that I own. Ne oh, here's the carbon black voluminous one. And then I went to Fred Meyer, which some states have and some states don't have. But and I got this Sally Hansen lip inflation plumper set for $7.99. I really like these. The smell is kind of like cinnamon and I don't really like that. But other than that, I like the look on my lips and I like the way they feel. And this one is in Vixen and it's just like a mauvey pink. This one is in Flaunt and this is like a nudish color on the lips. It's kind of brownish in the two. And then this one is in Colorful. Oh, I know. It's an embrace. And this is kind of an orangey coral. And they all look really good. And they have really good pigmentation, too. Next, I got... <clears throat> I bought this myself, and this is the Ed Hardy by Christian Adigia fragrance. And I don't know which one this is. It's the pink one. And it smells really, really good. It's probably it's one of my top five favorite scents. Probably top three, actually. I even it's wear really it. It's really good. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, and I got Paris Hilton Can Can. This reminds me a lot of Britney Spears Fantasy, and I'm not crazy about the packaging because she could have done better. It's really plain, but it is a really good scent. And I got that at um, Perfume Mania. Alright, the next thing that I got is Juicy Couture's Viva La Juicy, which is my favorite perfume. Um, the packaging is adorable. This is $85, which is really spendy, but it's 3.4 ounces of product, and it's like a florally fruity smell. I'll put all the um, scent notes in the sidebar so you can see what they all smell like. But that's more of a mature, <clears throat> um, but still young scent. Next thing that I got is a Urban Decay Primer Potion, and this is the big one. I've used this for a couple years now, and I really love it. It's my favorite primer. Next thing is the Revlon Color Stay Mineral Finishing Powder, and this is in Brighton. And it's just the pink one. It's really pretty. I got this at Fred Meyers as well. And it really reminds me of the Laura Mercier um, Shimmer Block which is like right there. Like, essentially it's the same thing, except for the shimmer block is about $45, and this is, um, 10. <laughs> um, the next thing that I got from MAC is two Dazzle Glass creams, one in Do It Up, which is a pretty Barbie pink with shimmer, and I really like that and one in Luscious Spark, which is an orangey pink, and that's probably my favorite one out of the two. Um, I also got the Matte Texture Cream from MAC, and I saw Peach Lou talking about this, and I figured it would be good to reduce the size of my pores and control oil, as well as like outline my lips when I want to do lip liner. I got more MAC Fix Plus because I ran out. I got the MAC Concealer Brush, the 194. Um, I've used this a couple times and it really works. I don't use it around my eyes. I use my fingers for around my eyes, but I use this to cover up spots. And with that, I got the Studio Sculpt Concealer in NW15. Honestly, I don't think this is as great as everybody says it is. I liked my other concealer better, but it's okay. If you want a review on any of this stuff, um, just let me know. The next thing I got is a MAC Pigment in Gold, and this is like, um, 
basically like a metal. I don't know. I'm wearing it today on my eye, on my eyelid. And if you get it wet, it just looks kind of like gold tin foil, and it's really, really pretty. And I got Max Golden Olive, which is a olivey gold, just like it says in the name. <laughs> Um, I got a deluxe sample of NARS face primer from Sephora. I got an, the Urban Decay set that came with the primer potion came with a mini 24-7 liner. This is my new favorite eyeliner. It's extremely creamy and it's better than any eyeliner I've ever tried and it stays on my waterline and it looks really good. I got a mini size of the Urban Decay Pocket Rocket lip gloss and this is... Um, Timothy. I hate the smell of these, but it looks good on. And then I got a mini lipstick. It's like literally the size of like not even my entire finger. And this is in Midnight Cowboy Rides again? No, Midnight Cowboy. And this is really pretty. It's a nude with gold shimmer and it looks really pretty on the lips. Okay, <clears throat> last but not least my Makeup Forever eyeshadows. I got four more because I love Makeup Forever. And this is the Hot Pink, and this is number 75. This is a bright, crazy, intense pink. That's what it looks like. And I haven't used that yet, but it's pretty. Then I got a more of a raspberry pink, and this is, but it's still a hot pink. And this is number 26. That's what that one looks like. If you compare them, this is more of a neon and this is more of a raspberry. Next, I got number 116. And this is just a, like a light violet. It's really pretty. Looks like that. And then, I got... Uh, number 171, and this is a, like an iridescent lime green. It's really pretty. I've used this in a couple looks, and I really like the texture of this one. So that is my haul, if you have any, oh wait, and I also got a little sample of Juicy Couture's Couture Couture perfume. This is probably my new favorite perfume over Viva Le Juicy, even. I really like it. It's more of a earthy, incense -y smell. Anyway, if you want a review or swatches of anything seen in this video, just let me know, and I hope you're having, having, hey, having, editing that out, and I hope you're having a great day. Bye. Bye.